Okay, you guys, I got some Dust Devil uh, BBs, 1500 for $10. And on average, they are kind of 10% faster than a regular BB, which is 5.3 grain. These are 4.3 grain. Sometimes they are faster, sometimes they're about the same. I got 685 with 10 pumps out of the Daisy 880. One of the things you have to realize about BBs is there's a thing called blow-by. Blow-by is when the BB's in the barrel, some of the air gets around the BB because it's not sealed perfectly. It's a little undersized, and some of that air is wasted, so it's, you get some blow-by. But these BB's here, if you look really close at them, they have a ring around them, and then the rest of it is undersized from the little ring. But uh, anyway, these are really nice BBs. They don't shatter uh, on a lot of things unless they're hard. For instance, I shot wood with these. I'll show you a sample here pretty soon. Having an increase in speed isn't really going to change the trajectory a whole lot. So it's not necessarily useful for the speed. It's useful because uh, they shatter. So they're a lot safer to shoot. You're not going to get ricochet and stuff like that. And you're not going to damage your targets. So I'm going to show you what I shot with 685 feet per second. I had gotten some that were 700. So they are a little bit faster, but not always. So this is 28 gauge uh, stove pipe. And what I did is I stamped this out flat. It was kind of like a round shape pipe and I stamped it out so I can shoot pellets and BBs at it. So this is about 700 feet per second, 685, 700. It's starting to crack the 28 gauge uh, steel. And what happened with the BB that hit this is it did shatter and it didn't come back. Then, then I tried wood. This is a more dense pine and I think this went in little bit more than a quarter inch. So about, uh, I would say about uh, three eighths of an inch depth. The BB went in, but as you can see, it's still together. Hasn't shattered yet. And finally, my gamo target here, which this is one of the reasons why I think the BBs are useful, is the gamo target. If you look right here, uh, this is a gamo target that I bought. Gosh, I bought this thing probably 20 years ago, and they still sell them today. And this is your reset right here, so that when you hit a target, when you hit one, two, three, four of them, you can reset it right here. And I always shot pellets at this thing. I had a friend shoot some BBs when I first bought it, and then I told him it's not for BBs, so... <laughs> But you can see the BBs were messing up everything. But he didn't fire too many shots. But if I had used this the way I did uh, with the pellet gun, but instead using BBs, I would have chewed these things up like crazy. So what I did today is I tried the Daisy uh, 880 and I tried the Daisy Grizzly. And I shot one of these using one pump. And I inspected the metal. And I even shot up here in different places, and I found out that it's absolutely having no effect at all on the steel. Because the steel is hard enough to resist that. Which means, for the first time, if you buy these Dust Devil BBs, you can have fun with these targets safely indoors. Without stuff bouncing around. But always wear safety glasses anyway. And uh, because the Dust Devils are still magnetic and stuff, of course, clean up is easy with the magnet so and vacuuming or whatever you do to clean up but I usually have this in a box somewhere if I'm shooting inside but it's nice to be able to shoot inside uh, you know BBs and instead of pellets it's much cheaper so and uh, as far as rifles um, my DZ 880 is pretty much dedicated to pellets if you're going to use BBs in a DZ 880 and you're really going to use a lot of them, you might just get one dedicated so that you save that rifling. So this is my DZ 880 right here. And I got a Hawk scope on here. It's 
two to seven by thirty two I believe and I can focus thing I can focus this thing down to seven yards and have it on a full seven power and see perfectly clear uh, even in this bedroom here. 12 feet I can have a perfect picture on 7 power so that's what's nice about uh, having uh, scopes that can focus at close, dis or close distances um, because uh, it allows you to be able to stand holding the rifle and uh, not necessarily dry fire practice but just holding it on your shoulder so that you can get the muscles trained for standing and stuff like that. So what I do is I just have dots on the wall, uh, the wall that's facing the cement, which is right here. And typically what I'll do is I'll just hold on a fixed position for a few seconds. And what that does is that trains your the muscles in your arm so that if you're not shooting outside, you get that muscle training so that when you finally go out in the field, you can stand up and shoot too. Whereas a lot of you guys know I shoot from bench, but that's just to test accuracy. You really want to be shooting standing up if you can. Uh, it's more of a challenge, um, and it's definitely much harder to do. But bench rest is a way to find out what the pellet is doing, taking out as much human error as possible. And then when you find the right pellet, then you can start standing up, and, and you know that the bench results were really good. So standing up, it should be good. Uh, so it's all up to you and how you hold the rifle and how you pull the trigger. Uh, I try to stage the trigger a little bit. It's hard to sometimes, but I try to stage it a little bit. Pull some of the slack out and try to kind of predict when it's going to go for more accurate shots, but everybody's different. So anyway, the Dust Devil um, BBs turned out to be very successful. I would like to see the price drop. Of course, everybody wants that. 1500 for 10 bucks. So if they get these like 3000 for 10 bucks, oh my gosh, that would be extremely cheap. But you have to admit for $10 for 1500, I mean, that's still kind of a reasonable price. You know, you can do a lot of shooting with this. So, but as always, it's always nice to see prices a little bit lower. But yeah, here they are, dust doubles. And uh, maybe I'll put one on this piece of wood here. So you can see them a little bit better. So think of it as kind of like Saturn, uh, the object, uh, the BB. It's It's got a ring around it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right there is the ring. And depending on where that ring sits in the bore will um, make the velocity higher or lower. Because like I said, all BBs have blow-by. But if you get this portion of the ring right here, and it's seated in the bore, then this BB is going to go faster. But if you get it sideways like this, if it's sideways like this, you notice that there's little places where air can get around that BB. That's blow by. That's wasted air that can get in front of the BB before it even gets out of the barrel. So that's what I'm talking about, blow by. Whereas pellets, they seal to the bore because the pellets are bigger than the bore. Whereas BBs are a little bit underside or undersized. So if you look down uh, an empty barrel like the P-17, I have an extra barrel for the P-17. If you drop a BB down there, if you look inside, you can see that you can see the rifling. You can actually see the rifling, but you can also see light. Even though the BB's in the barrel, you can see light on the other side. And that's what that is. That's the blow-by. That's the air that can get around the edges here. So this BB here... Let me see. I still think I can get you a good picture, but there it is right there. See that ring? So you never know how it's going to load. Sorry about the blurriness here. You never know how it's going to load, but in general, it is probably 10% faster for the most part. It's one grain lighter, so so yeah, you're going to you're going to have some speed. But does that speed make a big difference? Not really. Um you know, a trajectory that's 15, 20 FPS different from another isn't going to make a whole lot of difference. Um, but what we're interested in with this BB is its ability to cycle properly, and it does. And 
doesn't seem to have any feed issues. I have to try them with, with some pistols too. But uh, yeah, it cycles good. And the main thing we want these for is uh, so that we can shoot things that we don't necessarily want to destroy. Like I don't want to destroy this nice trap here. And uh, when I first bought this, I started painting these petals and I found out that's not really necessary. What you can do is put stickers on here. So when you put stickers on here, you can just buy stickers, take them off or whatever, or tape or whatever. You can do anything you want with them. But paint isn't always the best thing. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes I'll just ch -ch -ch like that with paint. But stickers are okay too. They work pretty good. You know, from a distance, you know, if you're out in the yard at 25 yards or whatever. So this one here is, this one here is about one inch across. This one here, it's about three quarters inch across. And then here's your reset. That's a little bigger, about one and a half, I think. So one and a half, one, three quarters of an inch at 25 yards. So that's, so that's kind of a nice uh, targeting system for pellet guns and stuff like that. Because ideally what you want for the hunt, hunting standard for air guns, probably the unofficial standard would be any air gun that you're going to hunt with should be able to do one inch groups at 25 yards. And we know that PCP air, air rifles and other air guns are much more accurate than some of these pumpers that could probably do this or even smaller than this one here. But is the accuracy good enough? Sure it is for 25 yards. Um, one inch or whatever for pellets. Now BBs, you're probably not going to get as much accuracy, but it's good to try, you know, different pumps and see which or how many pumps gives you the most accuracy. Because sometimes too much speed uh, will mess up your accuracy and too little speed will mess up your accuracy. So you want to find out uh, how many pumps is going to give you that ultimate accuracy you're looking for. But anyway, hope you guys appreciate the video. Any of you guys with Dust Devil BBs, if you try them in your air guns like your uh, Red Riders or whatever, uh, let me know how they function. I don't have a Red Rider here, but I do have a uh, Crossman type lever action type uh, BB gun or whatever. So it's kind of like the poor man's... Uh, what do you call it? Red Rider. Even though Red Riders aren't that expensive, I think I got my uh, Crossman one for brand new. I think twenty three dollars. I think so at the store. So, but I think I have a video on that. You could probably look it up. So anyway, let me know what you think. And uh, so, if you guys wanted to get one of these traps or any kind of metal target traps, now uh, these Dust Devils, they're going to give you. You know, a little more shooting for a little lower cost, probably. And you can use your Daisy Grizzly, Daisy 880, you know, stuff like that. So, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys.